hello everybody how are you welcome back to my youtube channel this is a uh, nairobi teacher of course with another video and guys this one is more of a not it, it, it's actually not an expose but uh, it's just an update of uh, a reaction video that i did sometimes back okay so you guys you you guys can remember very well that um there is this lady called Minhawi who came out and exposed one of their own for taking money that belonged to somebody else. Actually, they not even taking. Uh, he was given money to start up a business and that business was a partnership. But unfortunately, what he decided to do is take the money and uh, not informing the other party that uh, he has cancelled the partnership. So normally what happens is that uh, you're supposed to inform the other party I have cancelled the partnership and uh, here is your money back. Okay, so that didn't happen. Anyway, as you can see in this video, this is me traveling to Eldoret. Actually here I'm already in Eldoret. That's why you're seeing this video, me in Eldoret. And um, I'm very good at tracking. For those people who have been watching my videos, me trying to, you know, giving you locations of uh, some things and all that so um i was i tracked this guy called uh, he called he calls himself kibe on youtube or why not kibe that is what he calls himself so i tracked him using his own videos guys you know that is what i do i just take an image synchronize it and uh, yeah the rest is history so um to cut the long story short i had uh, some letters from uh, the lawyers that uh, we were supposed i was uh, supposed to deliver uh, to that guy um these letters he is supposed to sign yeah guys well this journey took me long than i actually anticipated or expected so yeah and a lot of i really experienced a lot of challenges on the road yeah one of them example being um you know car that i was traveling in breaking down where which prompted me to reach out to some people hey, hey. well guys in these streets if you have a problem that problem is you as i'm telling you yeah so a car broke down had to spend uh you know i well i can't even go to that details but uh, i think uh that somebody there is uh one of um uh the people who came out uh called uh lori Wherever you are, Lori, if you're watching this video, you rescued me. Hey, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, our car broke down. Our car broke down and it was in the middle of the night. And uh, yeah, it was kind of a, a very, very tight situation, you know. And unfortunately, uh, the person that I was uh, helping with his work, I actually underquoted. I did. Anyway, it's because uh, some of these things you don't anticipate or you don't expect what is going to happen on the road. Yeah, so guys... I started scanning the area where this guy lives. This is the letter. Mm -hmm. F. W. Karanja and Company Advocates and Commissions for Oath. Mm -hmm. Blah 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 blah. Our reference F. W. K. <laughs> Brian Kiptoki Bet. Where? Langas Eldoret. Do I know where he lives? No, I don't. But can I track him down? Of course. This is NT. Trust me. I can get you even under your bed if I want to. Mm -hmm. uh, Eldoret Langas, dear sir, refund of US dollars, 1,570 sent to you by Shukri. Abdullah, I'm very sorry for revealing the name of the lady, but I just want you guys to know uh, what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. USA, Emmanuel Michael Salano, Shukri's manager and our client, Duly instructed by our client Emmanuel Michael Salano on behalf of his client Shukri Abdullah, who is the investor, to demand from you, which we hereby do the total sum of US dollars 1570 sent to you by Shukri Abdullah between 3rd July and August 2024 for purposes of opening a business at Eldoret. Mm -hmm. Our instructions are that you went ahead and opened a pharmacy, which you are now operating. The said investor has been on several locations trying to reach you but you have blocked all communications avenues between yourself and him take notice that we have instruction to demand which we hereby do the full amount of 1570 usd within one month from date here of failure which our client shall proceed and file proceedings against you at your own risk and at your own cost and other incidental consequences related therefrom. 
including a takeover from a uh, uh, takeover of the business from you all right take further notice that you should refund the money direct to the investor guys <laughs> you guys don't say that uh, the money is supposed to be refunded to Nairobi teacher yo 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 no no guys Take further notice that you should refund the money direct to the investor and give us evidence of all remittance on or before 9th of November 2024. Yours faithfully, F.W. Karanja and Advocates Company. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Nairobi. Uh -huh. So, guys, that is the reason why INT slept on this king size bed. Here in Eldoret Town, all right, because I'm here to execute this. Now that you guys are have known this, I'm going to track down Kibe. And um, okay, uh, if he doesn't pay the money, we are going to obtain a court order seizing that business because that business was opened by my client. Okay. <laughs> No, guys, I didn't tell anybody to take money from somebody and then never pay it back or anything. Okay, so this is um, this is what is going to happen. The, that money is going to be paid back. If he fails to pay that money back, we are going to obtain a court order to seize operations of every anything on on that business premises. Okay, which might include taking over because according to the law of Kenya, we have the right to take over the business because the business was started by my client so guys let's get started let's track dr kibe in eldoret all right guys i hope i'll get him <sighs> pray for me <laughs> And uh, there is also somebody who was uh, helping me in this tracking. So I had, uh, we had to buy lunch for ourselves, eat, refresh, then go back to the racing again and see if uh, the race had started. And yeah, it had started. Uh, so I saw a little bit of action, enjoyed a bit. Then I decided to continue with my journey of uh, tracking Kibe. You know, and uh, I found something interesting in this city. So guys, uh, uh, there is motorcycle racing. Actually, I think it's a... Uh, world uh, world championships what eh? i think world african championship or something i don't know but uh, yeah it's something um, that has put the entire city the entire city of eldoret to a standstill yeah as you can see we have a lot of uh, police officers right there with their motorcycles because hey i don't know they're keeping security and i don't know security for what <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Yeah, so guys, like I was saying, um, I backed track. I backed track. I backed track. I mean, uh, almost twenty of his videos, and uh, luckily, this is at least the only video that gave me a clue. Uh, it is the only one that gave me a clue because. Um, the others I was not getting any idea so there is something that he did he made a, a mistake and uh, showed uh, a road and that road had uh, been written by the council of Eldoret uh, it, 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 uh, it is somewhere let me show you guys uh, just uh, yeah, right there right there you see there if you look at uh, something written like uh, a chalk on that road on the left side there is a chalk written there so what I did I post that 
Yeah. I want you to see there is something that was written there by the, the, the city of yeah, Redot. Yeah, so I used that one uh, to search through Google image, uh, images, I mean. And also uh, another thing that helped me was these posters that were there. Those posters on that board helped me because I was able to zoom in those posters and try to see where I can find that. So when I saw that, I checked that building. You see that white building there? That is so finally guys, after tracking him the whole day, finally at night is when I was able to locate that building. You see that building? That is where uh, he was. Um, though when I passed, yeah, actually I even uh, I even saw him, but I wanted to be sure that it is true he is the one who is there at the shop. Um, after that is uh, after a, a full day, actually uh, I think I used two days. Yeah. So guys, like I told you, uh, the tracking uh, of. Uh, so this was the following day when uh, because that was at night and I wanted to be certain so I went there the following day in the very early in the morning to see if indeed uh, that is uh, the shop then I saw the shop uh, the building uh, which is usually on his videos when I saw that I checked yep and I was sure and then I checked also the left side the road where I uh, helped me to track and I was 100% sure I'm at the location. Now it's time for me to go for the cops. Uh, right, guys, welcome back, Nairobi teacher. This is another day. Like I told you guys, guys uh, this investigation is kind of taking a very, very long time. Uh, it's been three days now. Uh, it's been three days. So I was able to, uh, to track him. And uh, I'm also in touch with uh, the police. Uh, to be very specific, uh, uh, the deputy OCS, uh, who is uh, also helping me. So, um, I haven't located the guy yet. I know the place, but I've been passing there several times. I haven't seen him. I have sent uh, my undercover guys that can go and, uh, you know, try to see if he's there. I have a lot of undercover guys here in this town, in this city. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I told you any t any any town that I go, I survive under like I said even if you hide under the table I'll find you I mean T I find people for a living rather I used to find people for a living so uh, basically this is uh, now what is going to happen I'm waiting for him to appear at the shop and then um, the documents that I'm supposed to give him, he's supposed to sign those documents, actually. And uh, yes, basically sign the documents. And then when he's done signing those documents, um, he's supposed to pay up. And uh, we're not going to give him uh, time to pay up because the money was given to him within a span of one month. So he has exactly one month to pay. And uh, if he fails, we will be also getting a court order. We'll be getting a court order to seize the operation of that pharmacy. Okay, I know some people are here looking at me with very bad eyes. No, come on. He took somebody's money. Yep, he took somebody's money and he has to pay. You cannot take somebody's money and think that you can get away with it simply because people are not here in this country. So you think that you can just take their money and there is nothing that they can do about it. It's high time. Guys, I remember I saw there is a post that I saw um, that Mr. Fruit's money had done. And Mr. Fruit's money had said, um, all we do is talk and talk and talk and we don't even uh, try to get justice for these people. Guys, hey, you don't know how much <laughs> and uh, how many times I have tried to get justice uh, for these guys you really have no idea i have been okay just because i don't come here on camera and telling you guys you know this is and this and that and that and that is what i'm doing it doesn't mean that uh, nothing is happening like now um it's been four days actually uh following this case like four days and i know i have missed at least two days of not uh posting a video for you guys it's because this this uh, uh, tracking of this guy has really taken a lot of uh, my time uh, which I'm not regretting because at the end of the day, what we need is results. And um, the good thing is, I did track him. I, I, I used about uh, several hours. I pinpointed the location where he is using the, just his videos. Remember the same guy, the same way that I used to, that I did uh, that tracking of uh, Princess Casket who lied uh, uh, from uh, the woman in Embu. How I tracked that is still the same way that I tracked uh, Kibe. 
I was able to narrow down his videos and then after that I took um, a screenshot of one of the locations of uh, where uh, he shot the video from and then uh, from there I tried to search I have my own ways of searching the exact uh, longitudes and latitudes where that photos uh, were taken so I came uh, to that exact same location so from there I was able to narrow down and try to re retrace basically to retrace his steps um, I retraced back for okay yeah it took me longer than I actually expected because for me I've never tracked somebody for more than uh, two days if I decide to track you I've never done that for more than two days so this one I, I'm not, I'm, yeah basically this is what I took almost two days this is the third day and um, if it's if he's not going to show up at the shop but uh, I really want him to show up at the shop because at the shop is where that shop is the shop that is in uh, in context in contention let me say in contention or something like that hey you guys i'm telling you english is not vegetable okay and english is not my first language so whenever i say something that doesn't make any sense you just make sense of it okay so um the the, the documents from the lawyers are supposed to be handed over um at that shop and uh because that shop is the one that is uh, in uh in this matter is the one that is in in this case and we were able to calculate the amount in kenyan shillings which we did and uh, we even uh, um we had to convert the money into kenyan money because when uh, you go to the police station and uh, you 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 know you explain the situation to them they need to see the heaviness of uh, that so we had to convert it to kenyan money which we found it was 196000 kenyan shillings which is a lot of money Okay, and again, one thing that people do not understand is that this money was not given to him as charity or anything. This money was given to him because it was a business venture, and they were supposed to be partners in this in this business. Okay, then this guy decides to dupe the partner in the name of ah, you know, whenever I needed this, the person was delaying and all that. And what makes it worse, guys? What makes it worse is how he, the so-called proclaimed Doctor Kibe. Uh, is uh, responding to the lady in question you know he's like very very rude in his responses whenever uh, they're talking he's very very rude so what we need here is simple either he refines 196,000 or we obtain a court order where that uh, chemist is going to seize operation nobody will touch it not us not him until the matter has been settled so even if it means going to court yeah welcome baby we will go to court like I've told you guys I've been to court very many times. I've been to police stations very many times. <laughs> Even between between uh, the last three days, I've been <laughs> I've been at the police station almost six times. Okay, the, just the last three days, honestly, I've been at the police station almost six times. Some of these people that usually keep on threatening others because we are exposing them and telling and telling us, hey, you know what? I'll take action. Okay, now. Uh, what what I'm doing is triggering you guys to take action, and then. Uh, I will unleash everything that I have on of everybody in that place and all the necessary um, you know uh, the necessary information that I have the dossier that I have on people who have been scamming it's time you guys get uh, to know what justice is and uh, you guys get to know you know um, you don't just scam people and get away with it. You just don't take somebody's money and say, yeah, it's okay because they are in U.S. There is nothing that they're going, they're, they're going to do to me. No, we need accountability and not just accountability. We have others who are even blackmailing. So when I am done with Dr. Kibe, I have another one that I will be also telling you guys. Like literally right now, I'm killing two birds at the same uh, <laughs> two two. Yeah, hey, two birds with the same stone, which is really, really draining me. I'm, I'm really being drained so much, but no, it's my pleasure to do it. Though, hey, <laughs> yeah. Why? Because there is nothing as satisfying as getting justice for me for people who, um, you know, uh, helping somebody to get what is rightfully theirs. That is my top priority and my satisfaction. Like I'm telling you, my sat satisfaction level is at a hundred percent. Okay. So, in three weeks' time, I'll be back in Eldoret. Okay, I'll be back in Eldoret. That one, let it be on record. Uh, if Kibe has not paid that money, not not even paying because he has one month to, to pay, but in two weeks' time, I'll still be back in Eldoret with another 
later also now that one will not be from uh, that will not be from the lawyer that one will be uh, from court which will be a notice to him of shutting down that business if he will not be complying and then we give him two more weeks two more weeks to now pay the money if those two weeks is not going to work that place is going to be shut down okay this has absolutely nothing to do with um uh, uh, vendata or what or anything the way that uh, you guys the so-called positive nonsense usually say this is about somebody who tried to invest in africa and somebody took an uh, 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 advantage of the situation and uh, decided to to siphon the money is it siphoning or scamming or whatever whatever you call it i don't know but we need that money back because we have other genuine people who are out there who really need genuine help but people like these ones are the ones that are making people not to get help because now everybody thinks that uh, if i help this person from kenya this person is a thief this person is a scammer so you know it's, it's giving us very very bad reputation and this has to stop so if you know you are a scammer if you know you are a scammer i'm putting you on notice now it's not not just about talking now it's not just about talking i'm using kibe as an example not just kibe guys not just kibe there is another scammer that i'm coming for so prepare yourself prepare. and this scammer has also sent a lot of threatening messages and blackmailing voice vo voice notes uh voice notes i mean uh to to the person that he is scamming and uh you are also on notice i'm coming for you and in fact for you i'm coming so hard i'm coming so hard and i know you think oh i know the police in in, in this place i know the police in that place i know the police <laughs> hey let me tell you something it's not about knowing those police it's about knowing the police who is above that police that you know okay and i'm just getting started let me tell you i'm just getting started and uh after this after this i uh, here in eldoret mm, i'm on to the next one i will not be telling you which one where but i will definitely be updating you guys uh, i'm not going to do a video in the next three four five days you're not going to see my videos from my house uh, recording and uh, uh, reacting you are going to see videos from the ground and not just videos but videos of action okay it's time guys it's time and there is this scammer who thinks that he can get away using also minors to obtain money from people thinking that uh, the law cannot do anything to him i'm also coming for you i'm coming for him <laughs> now uh, the so-called uh, swamp king or whatever keeps on threatening people and threatening people now uh, this one i'm literally provoking you so that you do something I want you to do something okay this is me provoking you you know i i want you to do something and stop saying oh i don't know i'll i'll, I'll do this i'll do that no 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 no. this one i'm 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 literally squeezing you so that you do something and then we see who will remain standing okay because i have a dozier that i need I'm, I'm squeezing so that this dozier can get into use like i really need to use it i really need to use it i you know anyway guys this video has not ended yet right now i am uh, I'm, I'm i'm you know i told you guys uh, everywhere that i go i make friends i make friends like right now the three days that i have been in eldoret i have made like 10 friends already <laughs> you know yeah i have already made a lot of people and right now as you're speaking i'm at a friend's house remember i was sleeping at um the previous video that i showed you guys when i just arrived here i was sleeping at a guest room and right now as we're speaking um now 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 i just bumped into somebody that uh, i have known for a very very long time and i'm at that place house anyway for security reasons and because i'm going to be taking action against one of these guys i don't want to put his face here on camera so that you guys you know you guys can send some whatever 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 and all that nonsense anyway guys this video is not yet done it will be done when i am done with what um uh, um, i came to do here in eldoret this was just updating you guys so i uh, expect maybe 15 to 20 minute uh video following this one not following this one actually i'm just going to attach to this one so uh, we are not yet done okay so yeah see you in a bit it's, uh, guys it's in the morning again uh today is the third day of following up that is kibe's place i have uh, sent my own spy 
I'm um, my own spy to check if he's available. That's where his shop is. There is a guy there. That guy is uh, my local fixer, uh, who is uh, who uh, has been very very crucial in this part of uh, the investigation. Yeah, so guys, uh, the police vehicle that is coming right there. Those are the cops that I'm going to go with. That not the cops, they are right there. Those ones. Anna, Nile, he building a white. Yeah. Uh, uh, exactly for your building. Here, on a white here. Maybe other than me, right there. Mother, I'm 
Yeah, so guys, uh, finally, finally, uh, as you can see the videos that I have uh, just shown you, uh, we've gone to Kibel. Uh, the police wanted to actually arrest him uh, until, um, you know, uh, he gives, uh, he signs an agreement uh, on um, when he's going to pay the money. That police officer was so, so pissed knowing that uh, there are people who are scamming other people money. So not all not all police officers in Kenya are so bad. No, guys, like that one is a nice one. He was so concerned and he was so, so pissed off. He wanted to take Kibe in, but I uh, kind of uh, uh, calmed him down, told him, you know what, let's give him two weeks. In two weeks time, if he will not have paid the money, uh, I'll, be, I'll be back here. Anyway, whether he's paid or not, if he will not have started paying the money, I'm still coming back here and now we will not come back to uh, to, 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 to serve him letters. Okay, we're not coming back to serve him letters. We'll be coming back to serve him letters, yes, and uh, him vacating that chemist until he pays the money that he owes to, uh, you know, uh, the subscriber that he took the money from. So I just hope that uh, he's going to, you know, uh, to live up to his words and um, pay back the money. Okay, because he said uh, he's going to pay and he has started paying 100 USD. But what pissed me off, what pissed me off was the fact that he said, uh, I'll pay in three months. But the paper trail... The paper trail does not indicate that he he uh, he was paid within three months. The paper trail says he paid in one he was paid in he was given money in one month and uh, two weeks. But for him, he's saying that uh, he's going to pay for three months. And the way he said it actually really pissed me off. It really pissed me off. So uh, the deal is still the same. He has to pay the money within those um, what the, the one month and two weeks same way he was given the money and uh yeah everything will be cool or okay but uh without that we'll be back there we will be back there and uh we'll not be back there to you know to serve letters and all that we'll be back there to close that place uh not just like that with the police no 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 we will have a court order from the police you know even having the police with me we had to obtain uh, uh an order uh, for, for, for the police to be with me. That was uh, the deputy OCS uh, here. Okay. So, next, when we come back, I just hope uh, he's not going to escalate this. He's going to pay the money as smoothly as possible so that um, we don't have to go into, you know, like uh, all this nonsense and uh, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And let this be a lesson let this be a lesson to other creators like i said let this be a lesson to other creators who are doing the same same thing who are doing the same same thing okay and if somebody has given you their money again uh, don't talk to them like now because you have that money that they gave you you feel like you are rich so you can talk to them just how anyhowly and how you think yet you owe them money come on don't do that that is so crappy that is so so crappy okay that is so so crappy and saying i i have even begun paying the 100 usd what is guys you are you man give you are given 1570 usd so for you to say that i have already begun paying and then the way that you're saying it looks like ah uh, you know like it's, it's no big it's no biggie that is so so disrespectful you know anyway i just hope that he's going to comply if he complies me i don't have any problem with him for me nothing is personal at all but if you make it personal again no problem i don't care yeah 
and, ju and guys just for your information <laughs> mm, those guys those, those cops were kind of uh, impressed how i was able to track to track down that guy because for them they can't do that without uh tracing your phone and all that for me i didn't i didn't i didn't have to trace anybody's phone no i just use your pictures this picture like this one that i'm recording with here right now if i just take this picture unfortunately there is nothing here in the background but if i take it as a picture as a picture i can come and uh, locate me here here where i'm sitting anyway guys i want to tell you guys that uh, it's been a, a pleasant day a wonderful day a successful day so uh, at least uh, one justice at a time so right now i am headed uh, to Eldoret town because uh, he doesn't live in Eldoret town he lives in Langas uh, that is what he keeps on saying on his videos so yeah uh, so I'm leaving I'm going to town then uh, get a vehicle then I'll proceed to the next case which you guys wait for it next case is coming tomorrow now it's not just reaction now is action you know there is reaction and then there is action now it's action Okay, so tomorrow I'm going to execute another action and then from there I go back to reaction, 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 reaction and then in two weeks time, action. And uh, the person that I'm targeting in two weeks time, that person has been so rude and uh, that one, we are not going to handle it mercilessly. We are going to handle it with the full force of the law. Full force of the law. I'm telling you guys. Yeah. Hate me, love me. I don't care. I honestly do not care even a little bit as long as you're taking somebody's money i don't care i i, I don't care. yeah guys uh keep it just past me here with his motorcycle riding like a crazy person like the guy is so so mad he passed with a speed of almost i don't know 500 kilometers an hour <laughs> Hi, guys, yeah, I just saw him, he just passed there while I was waiting for a motorcycle to take me to Tao, and uh, he was like, like an aeroplane, after, immediately after we've just delivered uh, those letters to him, you know, after we delivered the letters to him, he just passed like crazy, uh, why do people get mad, when you've taken somebody's money and then they tell you that you have to refund that money, why do you get mad? Why do you get mad? Why? Eh, it's just the same case with uh, the other guy. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video up to this point. Please, please, please consider uh, liking the video. Share it with your friends and family. Tell them that uh, right now it's no longer about just reaction, but it's reaction and action. Okay, guys? Bye-bye. Please like the video and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.